Welcome to Casual Water Golf. Today we are going to be talking about my top five golf accessories for 2022. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button now and hit the notification icon to get notified when new videos get released on here. So without further ado, the first one on my list is alignment sticks. These are a thing of beauty for me. And there's so many golf drills out there where you can use this as a training aid. I saw this drill many years ago where you place the end of your alignment stick at the bottom of your grip. And then you let the alignment stick slide down your left thigh during the backswing. As you can see here, if I don't let the club slide down my left thigh, I have a flat backswing and my club face gets very open. Also, it leads to a common over-the-top swing fault on the downswing as shown here down the line. Now, if I let the club slide down my left thigh whilst gradually shifting pressure to my right side, the club isn't so flat anymore. And from the down the line view, it allows me to come from the inside during my downswing. Let's not forget the primary use of alignment sticks. They help you aim correctly at pins or flags. You put them on the ground, make sure it helps you align your feet parallel to target and away you go. The second item on my list is the selfie golf record stick. I can't believe I've missed this one for so many years. If you are someone that struggles to take your practice sessions to the golf course like me, this is an item for you as you get to see your swing in real time, get feedback and make corrections as you go along. It's a really, really good tool to have in your bag. The selfie golf record stick can be set up in three easy steps. You take the clip and attach it to something like an alignment stick. Yes, here we go with those alignment sticks again. You then have another clip which attaches to your bag and you simply put your phone in in the third step and you're good to go. So this is a really good item again, guys, for giving you feedback on what you're doing on the golf course. The third item is a pot out potting mat. Oh, now, potting is one of my many, many strengths in golf. However, I sometimes lose my way. Anytime I struggle with putting, the first thing I do is come home and spend a great deal of time on my pot out potting mat. It includes a pot out pressure trainer, which literally acts as a hole or a target for you. Now, the aim is to basically get the ball there in the same, let's say, pace you would want the ball to actually go into the hole with. The good thing about the pot out pressure trainer is it sends the ball right back to you if you get it correctly. So it's a good thing to have in your bag. The pot out potting mat is under eight foot long and it runs about 10 on a stimp meter, I think. That's all you need really for practicing. For those of you that don't know what a stimp meter is, go ahead and click the link to watch my video on golf terminology. Now it has markings all over the place from three to five foot to help you focus or aim when putting. Drive for show, pot for dough people. This is a must have item for those who want to save shots around the greens and ultimately shoot lower scores. Find a link below to this item in the video description. The fourth item on my list is a rangefinder. I don't know how any of you out there play golf without a rangefinder. Be it a Garmin S62 GPS watch or a Bushnell or whatever brand, I basically don't know how people play golf without a rangefinder. I don't mean no, but you simply can't put your finger in the air and uh, figure out the distance. It simply doesn't work. So I think this is a must have item in anyone's bag. So for me, I use, if I can simply find it, I use the ShotScope Pro L1 as a laser range finder. It's a cheap and cheerful model, does the job, it's quite precise for me. But I also use the Golf Shot range finder or GPS app on my phone because I have a tendency to wang it into the bushes. And sometimes I simply can't use this to get any distance because there's just no line of sight to the pin or the flag or the green. So the GPS or the Golf Shot app helps me at least understand how much 
I have left or how far I need to punch it out if you're one like me that goes into the bushes. With Golf Shop, I pay about £23.99 for a yearly subscription, which I think is so worth it considering all the rounds of golf I play in a year. So yes, people, if you do not have a user rangefinder, I suggest you get one. The last item on my list is an, an umbrella holder, which sounds very, very simple. But in sunny old England, where it never rains, this one really is a must have. I played in an event earlier this year and I was absolutely soaked. My clubs were soaked, my grips, my gloves. It was horrendous and I really didn't have a good time. So after the round, I went into the pro shop and I was just looking around and the guy was like, What's wrong with you? Why didn't you just get an umbrella holder, put your umbrella in it, and you could have saved yourself a lot of trouble. And I was like, oh, really? Even if I did have an umbrella during the round, I could have had better protection, especially of my kit or my clubs. So it only cost me, I think, about 20 pounds back then, but attached it, put it on like this. It looked really good. Even got myself a really nice umbrella and wow, I really enjoyed the next time I played in the rain, even though I'm a fair weather golfer, but I do have that occasional urge to get out there even when it's raining. This one or this item is a really good one to have in your bag when you're playing and takes out the hassle of trying to keep your gloves and your grips dry. You can also hang a towel up there in the umbrella if you don't want it to get soaked. Thank you for watching people. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification icon to get notified when new videos get released on here. Stay safe, people.